Hello everybody, it's me, Evan Gatcher, and today I have another tutorial video for you. Today we're going to be using stippling. Uh, it's a technique where you use sh where to shade, you use dots, and it's pretty cool. Um, also, we're kind of going to be drawing a hamburger today, so uh, yeah, let's get started. So today's materials is my the usual, the Copic Multiliner 0.5 pen, and just some pencil. Uh, it's HB, so yeah. Uh, if you hear like a humming outside, the people next door to me are mowing their lawn and it's really loud. Because, like, lawn lawnmowers are, like, the YouTuber's dream because they're really loud and they go on for, like, hours. So, I'm kind of sorry about that, but it wasn't my fault and, uh, you're just going to have to deal with it. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm a vegetarian and I'm drawing a hamburger. I don't know why. I think it's just kind of a good way to introduce stippling because hamburgers are really easy to draw. So we're going to start off with like a semicircle, but at the bottom, instead of it being flat, um, it's going to be uh, just a slightly curved. Uh, let me get my eraser. Now, with sketches, a lot of times it's fine to be messy, but if there's any lines that might, might mislead you, you should be sure to get those out because, you know, they might mislead you. Um, next, we're going to have our, our uh, lettuce. Like this. Next, we're going to have pretty much the burger part of the hamburger. Like this. Next we're going to have a layer of mustard. Then cheese. Like cheese is done like this. And then the bottom of the burger. Like this. Um, even though I have an eraser, I prefer to use this one because if you didn't know, white erasers are much better than red ones. Red ones are mainly used uh, are mainly used to uh, draw like to erase like I'm I'm gonna make this a little bigger actually. I want this to be a really big part of the picture. So I'm gonna make it much much bigger. It's probably too big now. Um and I see that my entire picture is really crooked. So so I'm gonna fix that up. Um, now I have already recorded this video about five times because each time I've done something else. So if you're seeing this one, that does mean that it, it, it worked, but just, yeah. Um, so I'm now going to pen this in. And we'll do that in fast motion. Okay, so I've done that. Um, and like I said, we're going to be shading this with stippling. And this is one thing I'm actually surprised I haven't told anyone yet. In an artwork, 
it, it's not an artwork if it doesn't have shading. It, it, it artwork it, it needs shading to even be good. Like without shading, an artwork is just doesn't even look good. So yeah. Um. Now with stippling, what we're gonna do is how you stipple is you make the first line of dots really really small like this and then the next one would be smaller but not as bad and then uh, each like if you zoom in you see like they're really really close together right here and then they're getting less here make them less close together every single time around um, now I'm going to stipple this, and uh, I'll see you on the time lapse. Okay, so uh, here we have our uh, hamburger. Just finishing up the stippling here. And I'm really sorry if during the time lapse, some of it, my hand was covering me doing the work. Kind of noticed that while looking over it. I'm really sorry about that, but. Like, yeah, you know, like that. But uh, I've pretty much stippled up the burger. Uh, I'm just adding a little bit more right here for the effect of uh, like where the darker part of it would be. And uh, yeah, so it's like this uh, with the seeds. I'm just going to uh, almost. So now, like always, uh, will it make it or break it? I'm going to add some color. Uh, so pretty much for the bun, I'm going to use uh, goldenrod, and, uh, and for the bottom part of it, and let's see how it looks. Now, the reason that I do a burger is because uh, this year at school, uh, we had a reflections contest. And for mine, I drew a uh, hamburger because I was really, really hungry. I don't even knew what, know why I drew it. Because I'm, like I told you, a vegetarian and I don't eat burgers. But I just was like, hmm, I'll draw a hamburger. And so I did. And uh, it's been entered in the contest because at my school, only the ones that met the requirements got in, so I was lucky enough to get into the contest. And, uh, and so I'm probably not going to win because Reflections, if you didn't know, is a contest held at school. Uh, if you're in an elementary school, you're probably most likely to win. Uh, first, second, or third, because, like, only ten people in the entire school enter. But at my school, like, everyone's entering, so I'm probably not going to win. But, I mean, you'll always, we'll always see. Uh. Now, be sure not to get any of it, like, on your hands. Because if you do, it could end up pretty bad with the color, like, smearing around the paper and stuff. But luckily, 
that is not with Prisma colors, but I know you guys don't have many of you people, everyone watching, don't have Prisma colors, so you don't know about it. Uh, as you can see, when I color it, a lot of the stippling effect goes away. And uh, that's the thing about color and stippling that usually don't go together. But I like to color my pieces. Uh, now the cheese is like, as you can see right here, it's like this brighter yellow color. But I don't want it bright yellow, so I'm going to add another color to kind of almost to dull it down maybe. Um, because... I'm trying to go for more earthy colors. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, like, a really light green color. And I'm just going to go right over it. So, this is not moldy cheese. It's just cheese that's more organic and hasn't been dyed yellow. Because in real life, American cheese is dyed yellow it's not really yellow uh next we're gonna have our red sauce which i'm gonna kind of go back and forth with uh orange and yellow so as you can see i'm kind of just kind of leaving a lot of white spots when i color just to go over it with the orange like this and then with the orange, when you go over it, they blend together. And you really, you see little differences, but it looks much more like ketchup. Or not dyed yellow ketchup, because in my mind, this is not like the normal, just horrible, disgusting for your body burger. Maybe it's more organic or something. I, I don't know. I like these colors, though. They go together really well. And, uh, well, I know I'm not really sick anymore, but I'm still a little congested. So, that's why my, I might sound a little, you know, gross. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit of a uh, green, more like a blue-green, because... And then I'm just leaving a lot of white spots, of course. And I'm going to go over that with, uh, with another green color, which is, I'm going to go over the entire thing with it. It's more of that uh, color, but when it's put together, um, you can almost see a little bit of the second color, so it looks really good. Speaking of reflections and contests... I have recently entered my uh, art into the dolly contest, which, even though you might not know what the dolly contest is, if any of you have been to the museum, uh, the dolly, it's the um, it's a artist, not Salvador, Salvador Dolly, not the Dalai Lama who, like, did, like, this really cool stuff. Um, I've actually been to the museum. It's a pretty cool museum. Uh, you should probably check it out if you're visiting Tampa or you live in Tampa. Um, but the contest, if you win, your school gets $30,000. You get $10,000. Uh, you get a full paid five year scholarship to the Dolly Con to the Dolly uh, the Dolly College in uh in South Carolina North Carolina and you also get your work up in the Tampa Dolly. So it's a pretty good contest, I would say. Uh, I'm just checking out different colors, what I want for my hamburger. Uh, and for it, I'm going to be using Tuscan Red. Uh, and then I'm going to put some other colors over it. But the Tuscan Red, I feel, it was a very burger-like color, I'd say. 
because burgers aren't, uh, uh, they're brown, but I'm going to add some brown to this, but before they're brown, they're red, and a lot of burgers are like a really, really dark red brown, so that's where I'm going with this color right here. Uh, just I'm just kind of coloring it in. Yeah, another contest at my school that I actually did uh, that I actually did draw for, but then I forgot to turn it in, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for that. But um, is the Tampa Museum of Art contest? Uh, that is a contest for the Tampa Museum of Art. It's a pretty cool museum and uh, if you're in the Tampa area you should check it out for it I drew this it's a pretty cool like weird space agey kinda I, I really don't know I was trying to draw an eyeball but I feel it looks a lot like the Death Star uh, now I'm adding my brown in Uh, I'm gonna add the red, the most red kind of where, like, the darkest where, like, more stippling is and the lighting where, like, all the reflection is. Um, I'm also gonna add the darker brown near the darker stippling on this pe on this part. Uh, I know that I'm going out of the lines a lot. That's because I'm trying to make it more sloppy, sloppily done. Uh, that's kind of just, it's actually a style, if you can believe it, but, uh, I wasn't trying to do that, I just started getting sloppy because, uh, I'm really tired, <laughs> but, so now, yeah, and I've drawn this, thanks for watching, I've really enjoyed making this video with y'all. And uh, please like and s please like if you like the video, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. I mean, I'd love to, and leave a comment. Just thanks. And uh, whew, uh, but right before I go, I'd like to wish wish my friend Katie a happy birthday. Uh, thank you, and I'm out.